Hey guys, Lawrence here from Nightbringer Fitness. Today I want to go over the concept of building explosiveness. And I'm going to keep this fairly focus, focused on building explosive pull-ups in order to either achieve the muscle up, improve the muscle, muscle up, clean up the reps, you get it, that type of thing. And I want to do this as a talking video rather than just me going for a workout, which you know has its own valid points of, you know, just kind of here's the workout, get on with it type of thing. But this balance of talking through the concepts of the ideas and then giving an example workout at the end I think has value as well because then you can kind of more clearly define exactly what's going on and why so let's get into it so I think the first thing to know is explosiveness is kind of like a skill in that it doesn't just develop from a sense of strength in other areas kind of like if we take a movement where it might be more bit easier to articulate that such as the handstand push-up powerlifters are super super strong in this overhead pressing movements right but maybe aren't able to do reps of the handstand push-up because they haven't trained the skill element which is the balance side of it okay um and it's kind of like the same with explosive pull-ups You'll notice people might be super, super strong. For example, you know, but there might be guys in the gym doing lap pull downs. You know, who are you know super strong at grinding out these reps, but they're not doing. These aren't the guys doing high sets of the muscle up, right? And of course, there's a strength carryover. But what we really, the the biggest takeaway I can give you, even though we're only you know a couple of minutes into this video, is that you need to train explosive to be be, ex, uh, be explosive, and. It was fitness FAQs, Daniel Vadnell, who first, uh, who I first heard saying that. And I didn't really, I, you know, I got it, but I hadn't really experienced it at the time because my muscle up certainly isn't the cleanest. Um, but I have these really, that like the, the highest viewed video on my channel at the moment is these straight bar Russian dips where you dip down slowly and then kind of grind your way through the muscle up. And I got quite good at doing the uh, doing those. It was quite clean. But at the time of filming that video, my actual muscle ups, like a, just a straight explosive pull up and then into a dip themselves, really, you know, weren't that good. It was passable, you know, on my best day, but it wasn't, you know, you wouldn't look at it and go, oh, you know, that's a, that's a properly clean rep type of thing. And it took a lot of really, like, systemized focused work on building an explosive pull-up and not just getting stronger at pull-ups in general but building explosiveness in order to start seeing cleanliness in the rep and that the interesting thing is that as I continue to do strength training once I cleaned up my muscle up to at least to a degree that I was fairly happy with I stopped doing explosive work I carried on with strength work and I wanted to do different pull-up stuff like the one arm chin up um, but my muscle up remained fairly crap I should say, um, I didn't suddenly get more explosive. So, you know, I, I got stronger because I was doing weighted pull-ups. I was doing one-arm eccentrics in order to get me closer to that one-arm chin-up. I was doing pulley-assisted uh, one-arm chin-ups with weight hanging off a ring strap. But I wasn't training explosiveness, and it really never really improved that much. And it's only in the last, I should say, it's been about nine weeks now of training explosive pull-ups at the start of my workout with a focused determination of, okay, I'm going to get better at this particular movement in order to have the end goal of improving the form and number of my muscle-ups. It's only since doing that focused work that I've really started to see an improvement. And, you know, it's a, it's a discipline in itself to do explosive work because... There's a lot of standing around in between. Like it starts to become more of a practice session that it can feel like rather than a workout. So you don't necessarily get a pump. The the best method, um, God, that sounds like marketing. -y. The method that works has worked best for me um, is one I discovered thanks to Christ Christopher Summer uh, of gymnastic bodies. Um, specifically his book Building the Gymnastic Body, which you know, is you know one of the first, um, I think, strength training volumes out there on gymnastic strength training. And now we're lucky, lucky enough to have huge volumes like Overcoming Gravity in our training world. Um, but it was the concept of ladder sets. So doing one rep, rest, two reps, 
rest, three reps, rest, and then one, two, three again. I did that when I first started doing explosive pull-ups about four years ago now, and the results were pretty great. Pretty great. I went from being able to do a pull-up up to about there, um, down to here, and that's what got me my first muscle-up. I was doing the negatives as well, like to get those straight bar Russian dips. Well, I got those as a byproduct. I wasn't training for that. I just one day I could just, I could just do it. Um, but it was really, really focusing on just build, building explosiveness. And here's, I can suggest a workout, but I'd like to take away bigger principles from this because I think that's what is the more important thing. So I think we know this already, but I'm going to go over it. So keep the reps extremely low. We know that, you know, one to five reps of building strength. I'm going to say keep it to like three reps maximum. Because what you'll notice is the third rep will feel like a grind. Because one rep is like, you know, your max effort. And it's hard to quantify this. It's hard to quantify explosiveness because uh, in terms of um, a pull-up output. Because when you're so in the middle of it, unless you're filming or you've got a training partner and being really quantifiable, it's hard to tell exactly where the bar is hitting, you know, down your body. But you want to try and do that and hit consistently that same amount for three times. And in between the reps... So what I would, you can look at it from a strength training phase and then, sorry, yeah, an accumulation of a strength training phase. So maybe you do four weeks of six sets of three reps, six sets of three explosive pull-ups, right? Resting three minutes in between. That's not me getting that wrong yet. It's a hell of a lot of rest, but the point is to try and be as explosive as possible. This isn't necessarily strength training. Remember that speed, as in you know, and how high you can get on the bar, is also a byproduct of efficiency. You can move faster, but you can also move less. So, for example, I play guitar, and we have a concept called alternate picking, which is you strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like so. And when you first start learning guitar, I'm going to use a pick here. When you first start learning guitar, it's very kind of clumsy. You're moving all over the place. But then as you get faster, you're moving less. Okay, so you can hit the string a greater amount of the time. I could keep the motion like that and try and move my hand faster. Don't laugh. But then, what if I just move less? Okay, so I'm becoming more efficient. Just like a Formula One driver trying to find the fastest line, like round a corner to continue the speed. Why go all the way wide out here? It's further along the road to travel, just like if you're going up a bar. And you've got to come way up over here and then pull way around the bar. But if you can get them super efficient, so you're kind of, if that's, God, if that's the bar here, and you're going like, wait, pretty much straight up, you know, why go, oh, God, with this huge, throwing yourself on top movement. And it's going to look like that, you know, all our muscle-ups do when we first learn them. But then the speed is a byproduct of efficiency. It's getting more efficient at the movement. So here's what I would say. Six sets of three reps. So six sets of three explosive pull-ups. Keep the scapula engaged in between the reps. So you've gone up, keep the scap engaged, up, scap engaged, up, and rest, okay, for six sets. I would say do that for about four weeks alongside your usual pull-up strength training. So chuck some weight on, do whatever you need to do in the kind of five to six to eight rep range. You get the idea, you know what, you know what you're doing there. And then... Maybe after about four weeks of that, then jump into like the super low rep. So just one rep, bang, absolutely as high as you can. And take the time to really be in the zone mentally with this. Think about what you're doing. And remember that as, you, and again, I'm talking about not just explosiveness here, but explosive pull-ups. Remember that that last little bit is finished off by a row. Okay. So once you're here, for example, my arm can't, once my arm's closed to that amount, I can't. Even if I push my hand back, I can't pull down anymore. There's nowhere for it to go. But if I pull my elbows behind me, and imagine I've got a bar here, and I pull the, the elbows behind me, look what's happening to the bar. I'm not pulling down. I'm pulling backwards, right? So this is down, 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 backwards. And now look where the bar is. Whereas if I just pull down, it's there. Pull backwards. You get the idea. So that's how I would structure it. Remember that you're not going for grinding in this type of training. Remember it's going to feel that it's more, it feels more like practice 
and a workout because it is practice. You're becoming more efficient and I would really have you know that, okay, and accept that for these types of movements, it's a matter of efficiency. It's not jump on the bar and do super simple stuff, you know, stuff you can do loads of for like 10 reps and that type of thing and three sets of 10, it's like, no. Think how many people you see doing clean muscle ups. Like I think I've probably met maybe six people who have got a super, super clean muscle up. Most people, you go into a gym, most people can do a big kipping one. You'll see one guy in a gym who's got the muscle up, you know, fair play to him, using a big, big kip to get up there, right, we've all been there. Think how many people you know who've got a super, super clean one, okay? This is not a, a clean muscle up is not a common move. When you're seeing it, you're not just seeing like a muscle up and thinking, oh, that's cool. You see, especially if you do calisthenics, you know how much work it took to perfect that movement. When you see someone who's shredding away in their instrument, you're not just thinking, oh yeah, there's a cool lick, but you kind of see behind that the hours with the metronome of repeating the same movements, getting more efficient. So they're not doing this anymore, but they're doing super, super small efficient movements. Why move more? Why do more work if you can get the same result with less work, okay? Why do it? There's no point. Allow yourself to be patient. Allow yourself to get higher over time, to build strength over time, to become more explosive over time. Stay disciplined. Don't muck around between sets doing handstands or doing push-ups or that type of thing. You know, be patient with yourself. Set the timer on the phone. Look at the clock on the wall. Set the timer on the watch. Whatever you've got going on, stay disciplined. Three minutes rest in between sets. Just get going for it. Guys, speak soon. Have a good one.